This is Jesus Manuel Menegarza for my normal life uh, question mark. In this edition, I'm going to be going over some of the features of my Cub Cadet, specifically the Cub Cadet CC30H. And uh, a lot of viewers uh, of this channel have asked me some questions, some basic questions, some important questions. So uh, I'll think uh, uh, this is a great opportunity for me to show you. Today's date, uh, what's today's date? It's April 14th, 2021. I've done a couple mows of this lawn and the mow the lawn in the back on, a, on my uh, third acre property, okay? So, how would I describe this lawnmower? Specifically, it's a lawnmower for small residential lots, okay? It's good on flat ground, on anything with a little bit of a hill, no way Jose. Through thick grass, no way Jesus, okay? It does not work very nicely for that. It's designed for somebody who's gonna constantly mow their lawn and take care of business, okay? So, if your lawn's about this thick, uh, get something significantly uh, more powerful. This is a very basic, very basic Briggs and Stratton motor, okay? So let's go over some of the features for some of you folks that have been contacting me. Okay, right here, on this side, you have two levers. One is your, uh, the height of the grass, five, four, three, two, one. I typically mow between three and two. Lately, I've been mowing on two, okay? So as you're cruising around the yard, you just leave it on five. When you park it, you leave it on five, okay? So when you're ready to mow, you put it in PTO. This is PTO, this means mow, don't mow mow don't mow okay here's your gas you fill your gas right here okay this is your oil filter one of the reasons I bought this unit because it has an oil filter and I feel having an oil filter on a lawnmower is important you don't want that uh, engine to get too gummed up okay this filter helps out a little bit okay so up front right here this is reverse this is forward. This is reverse. This is forward. You can only go in reverse if the PTO is right here. If it's up here, it does not function. It'll jerk back for a second, then die probably. So I do that, and then I can go backwards. If I get myself in a jam, I put it back here. Okay. I'm mowing like this. Here I go, mow, 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 mow. And when I'm done mowing, and I'm stuck somewhere, and I want to go backwards, I have to go and then I go backwards like this, okay? Very simple. Let me show you the other side. Someone asked me on my channel if uh, this can do a clean cut. It does a good cut. It doesn't do a super professional cut. It does uh, <laughs> a residential amateur cut, okay? If I turn really sharp, one of the sides, this side, tends to scalp. This side tends to get a, leave a little grass, okay? So you can't turn too sharp, okay? You gotta, sometimes, if you do that, you gotta go back and, you know, clean that little area up, okay? So if you do sharp turns, you can scalp one side and the other side is not, not so good, okay? This does not have wheels under it to keep everything, this, uh, the mower area, you know, level. It does not have that, okay? If you want that, spend an extra thousand bucks, okay? So right here's your speed control, slow, if you have the PTO on off, up like this, you can go in slow anytime you want. They recommend starting the engine in fast with the rabbit, okay? So you have rabbit and turtle. Rabbit, just leave it at there. If you want to go slow, you just let off the gas. You don't press it so much. Just press a tiny bit of gas, okay? This is your start switch. All you do is start it. And this is your, uh, if you want to uh, park your vehicle and leave the engine running, you press this down and you lift, push this down into park, okay? Again, you go like that, press that down into park, and you make sure, and then you're pretty much set. You can leave the engine on, because when you get off the seat, it wants to turn off the engine, but it can't, okay? So, so uh, we're pretty much set, let me move. Okay, let's disengage that, let's just go like this. We press this, and this goes back up, okay? So forward, backward, pretty much all you need. And right here's your gas gauge. The gas I've been buying lately, I, I can barely imperceptibly see where the level is. It's not very auburn or 
tan color, whatever color they have for gas. So it's very difficult to tell by the gauge. I just uh, look inside the hole here the, uh, where I fill it and cross my fingers that I have some gas in there. If I don't, I can always add more, okay? So this is an area where you can wash out your, uh, your mowers and the blades. I've never used it yet. Uh, after I'm done mowing, uh, especially here in the summer of Texas, it uh, gets a lot of dust and a lot of pieces of grass, and I just blow it off with my, uh, my blower, and I clean it off, and then I put it away in the garage between my two cars, okay? So again, this is the key. To start the engine, I have to go put it on on. I have the PTO off. Typically, everything's okay, and I have it on fast, okay? All I do now is press this right here, and it's pretty straightforward, okay? But you have to press this down, too. Pretty straightforward, huh? Let me get off the seat. Yes, like I said, when it's off the, you're off the seat, it automatically goes off. Okay, let's try this again. Let me start the engine, press this down. I can go forward, I can go backwards, I can go forwards, I can go backwards, forwards, back. Very simple. PTO. Now I can mow. There you go. Now I'm mowing. But I can't go backwards. To go backwards, I have to release the PTO. Again, it's pretty simple. This is not uh, a professional lawnmower. It doesn't manicure lawns. It does a good job. In my backyard, we do not use any chemistry, so we got a lot of weeds because we have a garden and we eat what we get in a garden and we don't want any uh, pesticides in our chow, okay? So a lot of, we get a lot of weeds, we get a lot of dandelions, but I just mow everything here. In the front, I use some chemistry to, um, you know, uh, tamp down on the weeds and then it's no problem. It's very lush up front, okay? So if you have any questions, feel free to contact me. This has been Jesus Manuel Menegarza for... Uh, for my normal life uh, question mark. Again, I appreciate uh, you watching my channel. This is a modest channel. I only put up a video once every few months on this channel. If you have any questions, again, please leave them in the comment section. From Fort Worth, Texas, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share, and leave your kind and friendly comments. And check out my Patreon page while you're at it, patreon.com slash jmmgarza. Gracias, adios, bye-bye.